you need a good breeze to get a blue water cruiser get it going right maybe not we're on board the Holberg Rassi 44 and yeah sure it would be great to have a nice blow to see what our sailing performance would be but we've just had a very very pleasant morning so far sailing in next to no wind and it's a real demonstration of how well driven this modern hull shape is so 44 by by Hermann Freres and you can see there's a, a lot more beam carried aft than, than their more traditional older models and also twin rudders and I thought we'd be out here in two to three knots of true wind no point in sailing it's not true we have been sailing at the true wind speed or actually half an hour up to a knot quicker than that generating our own apparent wind and it's just been very very pleasant indeed just milking every little zephyr on the water so this has um, a longer waterline length than the older 43 She's still a 13 and a half ton boat, but she just moves very elegantly through the water. Nice modern sails as well help contribute to that. So these use Elstrom in-mast furling, which is the standard choice by all modern Holberg Rassi owners. And you get those vertical battens running all the way up um, and a bit of roach to it as well and even a headboard in there so they can keep a good shape to them and in comparison to the 43 the the mast has moved further aft smaller head sail 110 percent so you get a more powerful mainsail shape uh, and an easier to handle head sail. You can see here there's just no wind at all, yet we're still moving with very little drag through the water. Average of about two and a half to three knots of wind and we're doing about three and a half knots. When we did the full boat test on this earlier in the year in, in Sweden, it was sort of opposite conditions, so plenty of wind and swell. But it's really nice to see what how a boat sails in in hardly any wind. But what I've noticed as well is just how peaceful this boat is. Very, very quiet under sail and engine. And that's the case both up in the cockpit here and in this trademark Harper Grassy interior. And I can assure you that sitting in one of these armchairs and watching the world slowly pass by through the whole window is a pretty pleasant experience. This one has a Pullman to starboard, shared heads to port, and a small V-berth. The armchair is now favoured by most owners over a sofa. And also the longitudinal galley rather than, the passageway galley really, rather than having a C-shaped galley, which is an option there. how much light there is 
pouring through into this interior in all the places. So this boat has just got here after, to La Rochelle after a delivery from Norway in some quite spicy conditions. Still looking pretty immaculate.